In this video, I'll show you how to create a counterbore on an orthographic beam. So let's assume there's a counterbore hole in the top of this pipe here. First of all, I want to let's see, just do oh, I don't need that. Let's just do an offset um, right in the middle here. And I, w I always work on the top view first. It's so much easier to create this. So remember from the top, when you're looking down on a counter bore, what you're going to have is two concentric circles. So concentric means they have the same center. So I'm going to go to the circle command, make sure I'm on center comma diameter. Click on the center. And this one's going to be, let's see how good. There's two circles here. One is a 0.5 diameter. And that's going to be the through hole. So think about that. The first thing I'm going to do when I, I'm just going to go past the edge of the part. First thing I'm going to do when I actually construct this is I would drill a hole that goes through the part. So that's a kind of a good way to think about happening here. And the next thing I'm going to do, let's see, let's get rid of these two parts. Next thing I'm going to do is put my counter board in. So I'll put the second circle. And in this case, that second circle is a 0.75 inch diameter. So I'll do the same here. Just going to go ahead and draw draw these lines extra long, trim them off. Now remember the counter bore that actual part only has a certain depth. In this particular callout, the depth of the counter bore. So now when I'm thinking about this side, so the pocket that I'm going to create is 0.75 inches. So I'm going to do offset 0.75. Oops, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's 0.375. 375. Now I have a lot of lines here. Try to clean some of these up. Top view is essentially done as far as the counter board goes. Now what happens on the side here? Now one thing you do know for sure is the depth of the counter bore, and again, that's the pocket, really only occupies this much space right here. So if we trim away. Now this through hole, once I cut the pocket, these lines can't be here because that material goes away. So that's essentially what your counter bore looks like, but it's very important to remember that this is in this view here, those are actually going to be hidden lines. So I need to take all those lines, put them on my hidden layer. Okay, so that's what a counter board looks like in a side view, again, from the top view. So you can see while I, what I did was start with the circles, because then you just have to project down lines. Now the other thing I need to do here is put a center line here because these are round holes so I need center lines. So I'm going to I'll just do the construction line. And remember our center lines extend out beyond the top and the bottom of this part. So I'm going to do an offset. Let's try 0.375. See how that looks. Remember, don't make those too short or it'll be difficult to see that they're center lines in, in the same vein. They shouldn't be too long. So that's a pretty reasonable length. I think right there. So I'll just trim that off. Trace. Lines. And then I do need to convert the, that line too. So there we go. Looks good. Now what about this right side view? 
sure that that's all right stuff. So the right side view, what's going to happen is I'm going to see, uh oh, shoot. So now I've erased my. <laughs> so. so this is going to look identical. So I could redraw it, or a better way to do that is I'll just put one in. A better way to do that is just copy it. So copy, draw a window around. Oops. on everything there. And I want to use my reference point that I want to use is going to be that one right there. Just pull that over to right there. Now one thing to watch out for, see how I've got that, that object line is still there. So if I turn off my center line, there we go. So don't forget to erase that, otherwise turn my center line back. Otherwise you're, you're not going to see your center line when you get put on the drawing sheet. So that's the top view of a counterbore, side view. Essentially, both of these are the side view. And, uh, let's see. The other thing would be adding the notation there. The easiest way to do that, you can either do a leader line or just dimension. And oops, let's put it on the zero. You can just do a dimension. Click on that. And that gets the leader and everything. And then we can just double click on that. Hit the delete button. And I'm going to build my dimension. So when you double click on this, this menu is going to pop up. If you look right up here, you'll see something that says symbol. Click down on that. You see you got some of the most standard symbols. For example, there's diameter symbol. So that'll pop up. I'm going to put a space, 0.5. Now each piece of this dimension needs to be on a separate line. So I'm going to hit enter. Now I need the counter bore symbol. So go to symbol. That doesn't show up here, so you're going to have to find it. So go down to other, and you have lots of different fonts here. What you got to do is scroll down until you find one that's called GDT. That stands for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerances. And there you'll see all the symbols that we need. So there's our counterbore symbol. So click on it. You have to select, highlight, copy. I'm going to come over here, right click, paste that, put a uh, space and uh, I need a diameter symbol. Space and that is 0.75. Hit enter and now I need the depth symbol. So since I already opened up those fonts, they'll be on the bottom. It would say character map down on the bottom. Otherwise, just go down here and again go other G, D, and T right there. There's my depth symbol. So select it, highlight, copy, and then if you want, right click paste and the depth of that. I'm going to put a space and 0.75. Now these look, the text looks a little different. What you can do is highlight that and just say match. Oops. Let's do that again. So highlight those and say match. Oh, well, let's see. Huh. It's supposed to make them all look the same, but Regardless, that's that works fine. Okay, so that would be how you create counterbore with different views as well as create the notation.